I received a call from a woman who is trying to locate a potential cash box. One question I get all the time is, how many treasures do you think are out there? Oh, look at that. And I think there are countless treasures still out there. And if it's there, I'll find it. My name is Keith Willie. I am a metal detectorist slash treasure hunter slash you lost something, I find it. All right, so what was, okay. What was the history of the house? Just rough, it was owned by family my, members? Yes, my aunt and my uncle. It was built in the 1950s. Built in the 1950s, okay. Well, 1950, I think. And when did they, when did they last occupy the house? My aunt died like five years ago, so she was here all that time. And okay. then my mother moved in, so this house has been occupied by family members since it was built. Oh, wow, okay. So there could potentially have been activity up here as far as the, the hidden item just as early as the, in the last five years ago. No. So when, do you, when do you think that they hid it then? A long, long time ago. So basically they, they hid it up here and never never came back, you think? Right. There you can see some of these. Okay, yeah. And so is this one of the floorboards that were pulled up already? Yeah, you can see. You can tell the difference. See the different... Different see the nails, difference. yeah, and I could see yeah. where he pulled. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and and these are the marks. The What are these marks here? We don't know. My uncle, I talked to him and I said, why do you have... Because my uncle and my cousin were looking... And this and then, is the uncle that found the, the boxes in the other house? Right, so he thought he could find it. Okay. And I said, what do these O's and arrows mean? He said he doesn't remember. So we didn't know why this star was here, so that's okay. another thing he's talking about. And, and she, you can see what I mean. Look, there's windows everywhere. Yeah, there's lots of windows. Really <laughs> so do you think, do you suspect that this is, so this, we came to the left, and this, this is, is the first window to the this left. This is the way my uncle explained it. So we thought we should look like right here. Right here in this line. <laughs> right, right. So I could definitely see some cracks, some spaces in the floor. And and there was also some discussion about when the light shined in just right, you could see the box under the floor. Yeah, that was like probably at least 50 years ago. That, so... oh, oh, 50 years ago when that conversation took place? Yeah. Because my uncle's saying, you know, he remembers my, I wasn't even born then, so I can't tell you much about it. This right. This is a story I've heard, like, since I was a kid. <laughs> but we didn't have to look for anything. We thought that somebody, they're like, to my uncle, are you sure nobody took it out? Yeah, yeah, well, that's, that's but, an interesting question. Is it still here? He said no. And, uh, because, like, my, my aunt's husband, he ended up with cancer, and he ended up with Deacon. And he gets hospital, but he was a pharmacist, so I guess they had, plus they had Blue Cross Blue Shield, so I guess they had enough money to take care of that. So these, so it and looks like, like he pulled up this floorboard as well. Yeah. You could see the, the claw marks, so he pulled up this one, he pulled up this one. Yeah, and we had him pull up one over here, because just because it was loose. I forget, it was one of these guys. So there's a, there's a loose floorboard. I have to check that out for sure. This is the unfinished bathroom, so there might be like all kinds of things in here that's going to interfere with you because there's pipes and everything. Yeah, so this this has been actually cut and removed. I'm sure it had something to do with the potential toilet spot. And one of these here was up, like, and every time I'd come in here, I'd be like, hmm. But see, look at what she does. Windows, yeah. So this is technically all to the left of the stairway, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, but I mean, it didn't, he said he went straight. <laughs> he went straight, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's even, okay, that's probably removed for the cables, the wires running through there. So, yeah, you could see where there was cuts made in this wood over the years and different floorboards are removed. And do you think those pipes are any good for anything? Like, we want to throw them away, but we don't know we should. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't recognize those. Okay, it's <laughs> probably something that when yeah. they built the house, I had. Maybe, maybe, or maybe part of like a swing like a or an outdoor seat I don't know. so he pulled this board up too this was the contractor that pulled these boards up or well, you're, they're the uncle when my 
Well, a lot of people have tried coming up here. My brother, when my mom died, my brother from Wisconsin and my brother from Vermont came up here. I don't know if they actually lifted him up or they tried looking. Oh, so they, so, okay. So people have looked over the yeah. years more than just yeah. your uncle. Well, just recently after my, you know, after my mom died, they figured they better start looking because they didn't think, well, they didn't know what I was going to do because they wanted me to live here. And I'm like, I can't live here. This is too much of a house for me. This is too yeah. much work. Yeah, it looks like there's lots of uh, chalk. Yeah, these, these, yeah, I don't. I asked him. I said to my uncle, "What are all these old?" He said, "I don't remember what I did." And I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, lots of boards removed right here. That one's still loose. Yeah. So basically, what I'll do is um, I'll check some of these obvious spots with my little camera. It'll slip. It'll slip right into that hole. It'll light up the area underneath, and mm -hmm. basically, I can we can look to see what's there. Yeah, well, like I was telling you, there's, um, you know, when he did lift up some little boards, like if it slid under, there's uh, insulation. Insulation, insulation, right? So I don't know how much you'll be able to see. That's my point. <laughs> was it was the insulation packed up tight against the floorboards, or was there some space? There's some space, but we figured it might have gone underneath. Underneath the insulation. Well, because I've been there for 50 years. So yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. See what we can find. When I arrived, we toured the attic. She showed me all the places where people had looked in the past and where the contractor pulled up the floorboards. So I reopened up some of these spots and uh, was able to take a look under the floor to take a look at the floor joists, see any potential targets that I might get with my metal detection equipment. So I eventually got started, turned on my metal detector, and started where the two windows intersected. Basically, there was a rumor that you can see light shine through the floorboard and it was reflecting off the box. So I started in the middle of the floor <clears throat> looking for areas like this. Basically cracks in the wood, anything that looked, uh, you know, weird. But as I started to metal detect and get signals, I noticed that any place I got a signal, there was already some damaged wood where people were pulling up nails. So I can see where contractors and these family members had already taken a look under the floorboard. So I uh, went ahead and, you know, tested my metal detector out on some different targets in some of these already open floorboards, passed up some of these spots that, you know, I could see where someone else was fishing around in the floor. And I started to mark them. So basically what my plan was, was to if I got a good signal, mark it on the floor with a crayon, and then come back, drill a hole, drop my endoscope camera down into the floor, and check out what the signal was. Could be wiring, could be piping, could be anything. We didn't really know, but what I didn't want to do is pull up all this old pine tongue and groove floorboards for nothing but wires and piping. So I thought maybe it would be less intrusive to drill some holes and use the endoscope camera. So I inspected the floor. I marked even some uh, floor joists. This way, as I metal detected and I would get a signal, I would bend over, mark it, and make sure that it was lined up in between the floor joists. This way I didn't have to drill two holes. I could just drill one nice clean hole, inspect whatever was down there. Um, so after I covered the center of the floor, I realized, okay, th this is all area where other people have already done. I could, I could see all the nail, you know, the fresh marks in the wood. So I started to focus on the outer sort of skirts of the attic. I moved over to one of the windows, checked over there, um, even marked some spots that I was going to come back to where there could be potentially light shining through. I started really checking closely underneath the roof edge down where it sort of came to a point. Um, I did notice one floorboard was loose, so I popped it up, took a look around, shined my flashlight in there, see if I could see anything. There was some insulation under the floor, um, so we, we didn't really know if the potential hidden treasure was under the floor or not. So we we're kind of guessing. Uh, so I moved around some of the insulation, checked it out. See, I, I realized that, well, there's, there's only a few spots, spots in the floor where the insulation could be deep enough to even hide treasure under it. So 
I didn't really, I wasn't really too concerned about checking underneath it. I figured, well, if this item was big enough, it would have to be sitting right on top. So right in this area now is where I got my first signal that I thought, oh man, this is, this is something bigger. I started really, really inspecting it closely and I realized that there were some old cuts to these 45 degree floorboards and there was two of them right next to each other. So I, I inspected closer with the flashlight and realized that, okay, this, you know, this might actually be worth starting to get out some of my equipment. So that's what I did. Um, I uh, grabbed my endoscope camera, set it all up. This particular endoscope camera does wirelessly connect to my phone. So I was able to minimize the amount of equipment, minimize the battery use. Um, it had a couple of advantages to it. So once I got it out, got it all hooked up, I figured, okay, whatever this signal is, there's, there's a couple of different ways maybe I can access it. There was, I want to say, there was a total of five places I wanted to check. So I took a hammer, I popped up some, some little pieces of trim that were covering up these access points where I can actually look under the floor, and I started inspecting with my endoscope camera. Um, when I got through, finished with the first hole, I realized, okay, there's a lot of spider webs in here, so I'm going to have to figure out how to clear some of these webs out so it doesn't cloud up the image. So, so I've got a couple of signals over here. I'm going to take my endoscope camera and I'm going to take a look under the floorboards through some of the cracks that are over here in the corner. So we'll take a look at these now. So there's my camera. We're going to take a look inside here. Some of these cracks along the walls crack right there take a look this way we don't have to pull up too much of the hardwood you can see there's some rough cuts in the hardwood they're not fresh so someone has cut this and removed some of these boards in the past so let's take a look and see what's under here basically after I started inspecting a hole or two you know I decided to call the woman over so she could see what I'm doing and actually look on my screen and see what I'm seeing so she understood the type of technology I was using when I dropped it into probably the second or third hole I saw something weird it had letters and numbers on it and it was sort of a small silver something with a slot in it and I realized after I focused on it oh man this is a keyhole so I zoomed out a little bit and realized uh oh this is a box. This is a lock box. I saw the edge of the box nice and clearly around the insulation. So we, we started to realize, okay, we, we've got something serious here. Now it's, it's, it's game time. So she went, um, got, basically notified the family members that, hey, we were inspecting something that's of interest here. Um, we're going to hone in the search a little bit. And at this point, I am <clears throat> trying to figure out the best way to access this box that we have now found. Um, so once I was able to pull or remove a piece of wood from underneath the roof line, I was able to actually stick my head in there and see the edge of the box and see the keyhole that I, that I had already seen on the endoscope camera a little bit earlier. And as I'm doing all this, I'm explaining it to the family members who've been very patiently waiting to find out what this lock box was. So I've got something very interesting here. On my endoscope camera, in this hole right here, where you can see my hand, I think I see the top of a box. It looks like a keyhole to a metal box. So we're going to take a closer look. They didn't leave any keys behind, did they? We have like, well, there was a whole box with keys like that. Do we still have one for that? Maybe. We can pry it open. My uncle said that even though. see the pry marks from years past where this has been removed before.
let's take a look at this together. Let's see what we got here. So I've removed the lid and that, my friends, is a lockbox hidden in the floorboards. Look at that. Let's see how big this is. Look at that. So it's not very big. Look at that. All these years. Here it is. Let's get it out of there. Oh wow, it's heavier than I thought it would have been. Let's get it out. Oh wow, and it's a lot longer. me off to check over here is so the end of the lockbox is here wow. I see these rough cuts these were cut in place so what I think they did is they took a circular saw cut here cut here cut here cut here pulled these up you can actually You can actually see the splits where when they were prying on it, they cracked it. So I think because I can't tell how long it is, but I'm gonna guess it's it's probably that long. So I'm guessing what I did is I, f I went in the back end. That's not the way they put it in there. So I am gonna have to remove these two. like they covered it up with wood too oh my gosh so i wonder if they did that so you couldn't look through the cracks and just see it from above maybe i have to work yeah that, that, that makes sense huh About it this is their this was a uh, you know I mean who knows how much of a fortune it was but whatever's in there they didn't want it to be found so they're you know like you said it's attention to detail hiding it the best you can oh, so is that like a, another board that they put there that that's what sideways? yeah that's what I'm saying I think it might be wow. a uh, like a like a false you know, so if you did look in there real quick, it would just look like look like scrap wood. As, as treasure stories go, um, sometimes there's just time capsules or pictures, notes, things like that. So just because you find a box doesn't mean there's necessarily something valuable in it. So you try not to get their hopes up, um, at least in the beginning. But when you find a lockbox, you absolutely have to inspect it, hope for the best, suspect the most or the least exciting item so we realized that i wasn't able to pull the box out from the angle of the roof line so i had to actually remove the two floorboards that i had originally tipped me off when i got my metal detecting signal there once i did that i realized that the rumor we heard earlier about the sh light shining through the window was was impossible because this 
box was actually covered up with other pieces of wood. So I don't know if um, whoever put this box in here thought that it would help disguise it some more by adding, you know, like camouflage wood over the top of it in case someone replacing the flooring in the future maybe would never suspect anything. So we eventually pulled the box out from the floor and realized, uh-oh, <laughs> we don't have any keys for this. So I did notice that the, the, the box had a piano hinge on it. So I went over to my tool bag and grabbed a hammer and a punch. And I knew that if I can get this piano hinge started, knock it out of one side, I can grab the other side uh, with a pair of pliers slip the whole hinge out and I wouldn't need to break into the box. I can just lift the hinge from the other side. So that's what I did. All right, you ready? Yep. So let's see what it looks like. So here are a couple of pieces of wood that oh, we put yeah. in there. Yeah, hold on, let me. So again, I, I don't know, maybe it would just be dummy wood, like if someone ever did accidentally pull up these boards, Yeah. maybe they would they just, see it, yeah. right, yeah, like if they ever replaced the flooring or, or something happened, they wouldn't, you know, who knows. So here we go. You ready to see it? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my God. Look at that. Yeah, but you can't. Mm -hmm. Can you put a little more light on there? Yep. We can bounce highly. Oh, yeah. Okay. You mind taking a photo with my my face in there? If I just get down near it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Here it is. Look at that. Oh, and it's heavy. That is heavy, but I guess there's no telling how much of it's actually the box and whatever the contents are. You know, it felt, it feel, it does feel heavy like that. You know what? I think it might be all cash. You could hear, you could feel it sort of moving around in there. Uh, hear, you can hear it too. It sounds some, like something soft. Well, I mean, I guess it could be cash. So here's here's another thing that's interesting about these lock boxes. I don't know if I brought the right tool for that. Let me check. Now, would you drill that out or? Well, I, I might have a punch that I can Open it. See, that piano hinge has a long spine. So what I'm thinking we can do, instead of breaking the lock, is I'm wondering if I can get a small punch in here, oh, push push the out spline out, and grab it. So that your small camera is what found it. Yeah, the endoscope camera. Yep, just poking it in, see all the little gaps where the roofing beams come down into the floor? I was just sticking it in the gaps and then I saw the keyhole. Did you sell a ball tool? Metal detector. Okay. Yeah, yeah, metal detector. Okay. I don't know if there's such a word, but I'm cool with that. All right. Here we go. Here we go. You guys ready? Yeah, let me do this. Let me know whenever you're ready, and we will see what's in here.
Could it be all disintegrated with old age? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. I see some, I see 20s, I see 10s, and then I see... What's that stuff in the back? I don't know. It almost looks like... The, Bonds or something? Well, it, look, it could be cash that's wrapped in something. But it's definitely at least a full stack of 20s. And these are, they almost look uncirculated. Do you want me to take some of them out? <laughs> see what oh, they are? Could you get the other part out? You want me to break it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm curious. But did they get those from the bank like that, or are they some type of certificate? I think. Oh, oh, look, they're marked. These. Oh, 500 ones. They're $5,000 bricks. It's marked five thousand dollars. Wow. Oh my gosh. So th these are these are silver certificates. Yeah. Oh, so they're going to be worth. These are not more. worth. These are not worth face value. These are collectors are going to want these. Yeah. So yeah, that's. Yep. Yeah, there's stacks of. It looks like five hundred. It looks like a stack of five hundred. Silver certificates. Another stack of five hundred dollars worth of silver certificates. Try not to touch the money. Just touch the band. That's the bottom. So two. Oh wait a minute. That's a fifty on the bottom. So those aren't singles. Oh, I bet they did that. There's single you off. singles on top. It must be they more than. They did that to throw you off. That might be all fifties. <laughs> So yeah, or it could just be the way that the bank stack them. So it looks like singles, fives, tens, oh, and then yeah. 20s, 50s the and then 50s at the bottom. So smaller denominations. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, again, these, what's the year? These on top, these are from 1935. Wow. These are silver certificates with 1935 on them. I mean, these are, this is old cash. This is depression, depression era cash. Well, all those guys lived in the depression. That's why they did stuff like this. So, <laughs> Robert says, praise God. Thank you, St. Anthony. Your uncle was right. Hallelujah. So yeah. these, these are uncirculated silver certificates, $100 worth. Wow. Then you've got, a, we don't know what's in here. Five, yeah. It just says $5,000 on it. Yeah. 5000 Again, five thousand. Wow! But at least the house can be sold now. Man, could you imagine leaving something like this behind? Five hundred. Nineteen fifty. So all these bills. So nineteen fifty. Yeah. So it looks like bills that ranged from basically Seven early to mid nineteen hundreds. Here's another unknown stack. Five thousand. Five hundred looks like ten dollar bills, whole stack of ten dollar bills. Another five hundred looks like a stack of twenty dollar bills. These are these are from nineteen fifty. Another stack of twenties from nineteen fifty. Another stack of twenties, nineteen fifty. Looks like they're all the same serial, or all the same type, all the same year. Series 50, 1950A, 500, another stack of 500, and that is the end. It looks like they've got the bands in here that they wrap them with, too. Wow. That's the end of that pile. So that's half the box. The other half the box... Five hundred and tens, nineteen fifty. Another five hundred and tens, same year. 
520s, 520s. This one has something written on it. This is a thousand dollars in tens. Oh, 1950, but it says Becton, B E C K T O N. Does that name ring a bell? No. And then it looks like there's a date on it. 8 4, my wife's birthday. And it looks like maybe 1955. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's what I, it was like there forever. Here's $1,000 in fives, tens, and twenties. Looks like the same year, 1950. Another stack of tens, he, 500. He doesn't have any kind of like, you know, I can't send him a picture because he's got a flip phone. <laughs> 500, 500, 500, 500, 520s. Oh my It's amazing. Gosh. Look at that. Well, I guess it wasn't a figment of anybody's imagination. It wasn't. <laughs> and let's see what the last stack is. Really curious to see what's in here. Huh? Why they would be wrapped differently. So were those all 20s in a car there? You hear here? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I was gonna. It looks like that looks like a huge stack. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Let's see what this is. That is a huge. Oh, it's, wow. okay. Small stacks. So these are. So this is two thousand dollars in twenties. Again, series nineteen fifty A. So these are. Yep. A whole stack of twenties. Two thousand dollars. Another stack of twenties. Two thousand dollars from the nineteen fifties. <clears throat> Another stack of 20s, 1950s. So it was worth the trip up here. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a couple of family members over the years and then a carpenter. Yeah. yeah. Another stack of 20s. Oh, and it's like, you know, $2, this is too big of a place, too oh. big of an area to be and Here working, we go. You know? Here are some big bills. But they're, uh, it looks like this slipped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here is. $2,000 in 100s. Yep. $2,000 in $100 bills. These are 1934. Oh, my gosh. Wow. They're older than we are. <laughs> <laughs> Federal Reserve. 1934. So a stack of hundreds. Wow. Two thousand. Two thousand dollars worth. Well, I think whatever the numerical of those bills are, it's higher because of the certificates and the age and the yep. condition. As soon as I cracked that box open, I saw the cash. I knew we found the treasure. They were kind enough to let me open it and count through it, take a look at it. There were bills in here from the 1930s to the 1950s. These were, uh, you know, shortly after the Great Depression. So people were still holding on to cash, hiding it. Clearly there was still some trust issues with banks. Um, these bills actually had stamps on them from 1958. So I'm guessing uh, when they when they went to withdraw this money, they withdrew it all at once, and the dollar amount was in the forty thousands. I want to say it was forty six thousand dollars in face value bills. Everything ranging from one dollar to five dollars, tens, twenties, even a stack of hundreds. So this was my experience with finding a rumored treasure. So we were able to find the cash box right here in this corner behind me. This house is going up for sale soon and the owners and the family have been looking for it for years. They didn't want to let it go with the house for obvious reasons. So after about 50 minutes, I was able to help them find the cash box with my endoscope camera. 
I was able to check out these rafters over here where I saw some cut wood. I ended up seeing the keyhole of the box, zooming out a little bit and realized we found the cash box. So we retrieved it. The family now has closure on the cash. They can sell the house. So if you have a house where you suspect treasure might be hidden, give me a call, check me out on my website. The information's in this video in the description below. Leave me a comment here, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more treasure hunting like this. Thanks.